Welcome to Tip Testers. I'm Madeline. I'm Andy. And today we're testing out hacks to make cheap liquor taste more expensive, which is a topic very near and dear to my heart. We're broke and we like to drink. For our first tip, we're going to try making cheap vodka taste better by running it through a Brita filter, which makes sense because vodka is actually run through charcoal filters when it's being made. Luckily, we have some Sobieski, Poland's finest. I don't know how you could make this better, but we'll try it out. So we are going to run our vodka through our Brita filter, and I'll save half of it for a control. Oh yeah. I that should be good. I have to confess something, which is that I don't think I would know what good vodka tastes like if it hit me in the face. Um, well, it's about to in a few minutes. Great. So we filtered our vodka through the Brita filter four times, but first we need to taste our control. Oof. <laughs> Nostrovia. Hi. <laughs> Tastes like vodka. Maybe you're a fan, maybe you're not. I don't think she is. Oh no, I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's fine. It's not <laughs> terrible. Okay, are we ready to taste our filtered vodka? I am ready. Bottoms up. That's much smoother, I think. A little bit. I don't know if it's better, but it is different. Um, no, it's definitely smoother. The filtering definitely made a change right. for the better, I would say. Right, I mean, I still wouldn't use this to like make a martini. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not picky. All right. <laughs> Oof. So next we're gonna try improving cheap red wine by aerating it very quickly in a blender. All right, so we're just gonna pour the bottle of wine into the blender. Finest we could give Ford. Thank you, Andy. It smells Andy. like cheap wine, which isn't that bad. All right, so now we're just gonna um, blend it on high for a minute. It got real bubbly. It looks nice, I can say that. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, very, it's very pretty. Ooh, listen to that fizz. You can hear the bad vapors evacuating the wine. That's what cheap wine is, right? Bad vapors? Yes, it's all bad, bad vapors. Okay, so uh, let's try our control wine, the before wine. Mm -hmm. Ready, bottoms sure. up. Sure. Ooh, nice, nice body on that. It tastes like a red wine is how I would describe it. Now let's try the, the quality. Let's try our, our blended wine. Now it's I, a little different. It tastes a little lighter, actually. It's yeah, it definitely is like a little bit less of that like punch of alcohol. Right. In your mouth, it's a little smoother. I don't know if I can say if that tastes more expensive, but it does taste um, lighter and smoother. I think like pouring someone's wine out of a blender would uh, maybe <laughs> <laughs> ruin the effect. Yeah, I guess you'd want to put this like in a decanter or something. Yeah, but like... it seems like it works, basically. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna try turning cheap bourbon into a more expensive tasting bourbon by adding a little bit of sherry, some liquid smoke, the most alluring of condiments, and some vanilla extract. Isn't liquid smoke your nickname? It is my nickname. Thank you for pointing that out. Just cut me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take 750 milliliters of your bourbon. Would you like to do the honors? Okay. Oh, you can just get that fine nose of Evan Williams. It smells like my apartment. Um, okay, and then we're gonna do a tablespoon of sherry, my grandparents' favorite drink. A quarter teaspoon of uh, liquid smoke. Oh, that's smoky. Scotch is very smoky. Maybe it'll taste more like scotch. Um, and then a quarter uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract. Doesn't vanilla make like everything better? I think it, it does, be. yeah. I think it does. All right, and then we're gonna stir it up. Um, so now we're gonna try out our bourbons. Uh, on the right, we have our control. And then on our left, we have our ideally newly improved whiskey. Yeah. So let's do some shots. Let's go for it. That is a cheap whiskey. That's a cheap whiskey. Now we're gonna try our more fine bourbon. Cheers, old boy. You know, it's 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 more pleasant, I think. It's definitely like more drinkable. Yeah, it's less harsh than the, the cheap uh, whiskey all by itself. Like the cheap one was like what like a poor cowboy would drink, and then this is what like the cruel town mayor would drink. Right, I'm not sure if we elevated it that much, but a little bit. Yes, we elevated that much. All right, 
right, how do we feel? We uh, tried a whiskey drink, we tried a vodka drink, we tried a lager drink, we tried a winey drink. So filtering our vodka through the Brita filter actually did make it a little softer and lighter, I think. It worked, it was still pretty gross and I would not recommend drinking it straight. Right, you're not gonna get a $100 bottle of vodka from a Brita filter, but it helps a little bit. Um, all right, and then we have the wine, which I think we both preferred the Hax wine. Yeah, we blended our wine and it made it um, a little better. Yeah, it's like, it's really smooth. And even actually with time, it's kind of gotten smoother. Our whiskey. I thought the one that we added stuff to definitely tasted better. It made it a little more pleasant. It made it less harsh. Although I should say that if you already have all these ingredients, you could do this, but otherwise you should just spend the money and get a nicer bottle of whiskey. Or just like drink the cheap stuff. You'll be fine. Just grab You'll anything. Just get some sweet release from whatever is on hand. Thank you.